Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome to the first episode of the Non-Coder's Guide to GDScript. This course should take you from knowing little to absolutely nothing about programming to having a pretty firm grasp of the fundamentals of GDScript and the Godot engine in general. Now, of course, this course is not going to teach you everything you need to know about Godot, but it should equip you with the tools you need to learn those things and become whatever kind of game developer you want to be. Now, I really don't like making tutorials that are completely abstract uh, and don't have any clear application to uh, uh, how you would actually incorporate things in your game. So for the large majority of this tutorial series, we will be doing stuff with direct examples of things you can use. Uh, but for the first two, maybe three episodes, it is going to be a little bit boring, a little bit abstract, but we're covering the very, very basic fundamentals. And I think these are really important. You have to learn how to walk before you can learn how to run. So thank you guys so much for tuning in and uh, let's go ahead and get started with this first episode. So we're not gonna do too, too much in this first episode. I'm just gonna show you how to create a new project, a, a new uh, a scene and a new script and basically go over the theory of how scripts work in Godot to control things. So uh, here, uh, if you open up Godot, this is the project manager and you can go ahead and click new project. So if you click new project, you'll be prompted to create a folder. We're gonna go ahead and select where we wanna make that folder. I'm gonna go into documents, Godot code, tutorial projects, and your awesome game. So I already made this folder. And so typically when you make uh, your new folder, you'll make like, for instance, this would be, if it was Galaga, it would be Galaga. Click into this, you can see I have, I've already made a folder called exports, a folder called art files. I'm gonna make a new folder and this will be called project files. And the reason I like to do this you obviously don't have to, is that all of the actual game files will be put into this folder that we're creating. So select current folder, and then I'll click create and edit. You can also select which engine. I'm actually gonna change this to uh, GLAS3. Um, you probably wanna use GLAS3 if you don't know what that means. There we go. And so yeah, because I'm using a beta version, there's some reason, there's some bug where I have to reset it from inside the engine like that. But yeah, that's about it. So here is the fresh new project we've just created. If you wanna go ahead, uh, the first thing I usually do is go into project, project settings, uh, and then you can scroll all the way down here to window, and then you can set whatever size you want your game to run at. Uh, I'm gonna go 1920 by two by 1080 divided by two, just like that. Uh, and so that's another really ham uh, handy thing right there is you can do, you can do math, and this applies throughout the entirety of the Godot editor. You can see I put a forward slash uh, two, and then so that divides by two. Um, so anyway, yeah, so let's go ahead and go into here. For the entirety of this series, we're gonna be working in 2D, although everything I'm teaching here will be applicable for 3D if that's your niche. Uh, but we're gonna go ahead and use 2D for simplicity's sake. I'm gonna go ahead and right here, click 2D scene. Now up at the top, you can see we can click through 2D, 3D, script, uh, and then you can go into something called the asset lib, which we're not gonna be covering at all. But this is how you navigate through that. I honestly don't really use these too often, but if you ever get lost, uh, that's a good way to do that. So what we've technically done is we've created a new unsaved scene. And in that scene, we call this over here. You can see this is the scene tab and every node we have here is called the tree. This is one node. And basically each node you can think of if you know programming as a class. Uh, and if you don't know a node or a class is something that has a specific function. It does a specific thing. Um, the node 2D is actually the kind of exception to that rule in that it's a very general node that doesn't really have a specific function. It just kind of exists, it's a placeholder and it has some, some basic properties like you can move it, you can rotate it, scale it, stuff like that. Um, the Z index and what stuff we'll get into later. But that's all this is. So, uh, and then from this, we would add other nodes below it as branches of this node tree. So for here, I'm gonna go ahead and name this level one. Level underscore one. Actually, uh, technically, when you name nodes and stuff in Godot, uh, the correct way to do it is to not put underscores in the nodes, uh, but use underscores in your code. So yeah, we'll do it that way. I'm gonna go ahead and save this by hitting Command S, or you can of course also go to File Save, hit Level 1 Scene. I'm gonna create a folder and just call this Level 1 as well. I'm gonna save it right there. Okay, now to add a script, simply click on the node that you want to add a script to and go up to this button right here. Now, typically your script will control or specify behavior for whatever node it's attached to. You can also control the, the like other nodes throughout the tree if you'd like from, from one script, but typically you wanna keep in mind that the script it's attached to is gonna be the main thing that it's affecting. Now, I don't really want to affect level one. I wanna affect my main character. So what I'll do is I'll add to this a sprite node 
So uh, what I did here, and uh, sorry for that, is you go up here and you can press the plus button and this will add a new node to your tree, or you can hit command A if you're a shortcut guy like myself or gal, um, and <laughs> we'll search sprite here. And so sprite, if you know what sprites are, right? In games, sprites are the things that are, are textures, they're animated, stuff like that. Uh, and so the sprite node is no different. The main focus or, or kind of function, if you will, of this node is to display a texture. And so right here, uh, with every Godot game, when you make it, you'll see this icon.png. This will be the icon of your game until you update it. And we can actually use this by just clicking and dragging this over here. You can see it's a .png file, although JPEGs also work, and uh, I think yeah, SVG files also work as well, but I think PNGs is, is probably the best format for files. A uh, little digression there. Here's our scene. Uh, you can see that the boundaries of our window here are specified by that blue line, this faint blue line around the edges here. And you can see right here, uh, this is the sprite node. So we can go ahead and go up here to the eye here, and this will make it visible or not visible. And uh, to this, we'll call this our main character, okay? Now, I wanna make this its own scene, right? And so that's kind of the big thing about Godot, and you can kind of, if you know other programming languages, we're kind of grouping uh, this thing in this visual representation of nodes into something that we would usually do separately in code into different like files. So for instance, I want this one to be a scene, so I'm gonna right click it, save branch as scene, and within level one, we'll actually, we'll just make a new folder and we'll call this main character. Okay. And now it's its own scene. We'll click save. Uh, now you can see this little scene icon pop up. I'll click on that. And you can see now we have in the second tab open right here. And to this, we're going to add a script because all the things we're going to be doing in this are going to be to affect the movement of our character here. So to this, I'll click the uh, little plus script icon right here. You can see that it pops up. Uh, language, GDScript, you've got some other things that you can select here if you'd like. We're going to be actually using GDScript for this. Uh, inherits from the node, right, sprite. Of course, you can make it inherit from other things, but then it won't work. Um, the class name, if it's applicable, ignore that. Template, we're going to leave that as default, uh, and I'll tell you what that does once we start the script. But typically, once you get more experience, you'll usually want this as empty. Uh, Built-in script, um, ignore that. Path. This is where it's going to create your script, of course, and it's by default, if you've already saved the scene, going to create the script right where that is. So typically I don't even you know, pause to think about this. I click this once and I click create. So here's our script. You can see it's right here, main character.gd.gd is the Godot file extension. And you can see because we've loaded it in default, it comes here, it tells us where to declare our variables. It says where to declare our ready function and our process function. Now. If you don't know what variables or functions are, let alone the you know ready or process function, don't worry, that's totally fine, that's totally expected. Uh, and we'll go ahead and get a little more into that in the next episode here. What I do wanna just quickly go over is that the first thing in here, we say extends sprite, right? And so that means that because this is a script of the sprite class, uh, it extends some functionality, um, or functionality, I don't think functionality is a word, of this sprite um, node here. Right? So it comes with some default things that you wouldn't get were we just using. <clears throat> All right, sorry about that, everybody. Godot just quit on me. But if, if Godot does quit on you and you open it up, you'll notice that all those scenes are gone. Uh, and this is actually a good way to point out that down here in the bottom left, by default, you'll see the file system. Uh, the res is the basically the main directory that of the folder you just created. Everything in here, these are all your project files. So you can see here the folders I created, the level one and main character. We can click this to show that. Uh, then you can double click on any of these to open into those. Uh, now again, once you're in here, you can click the script up at the top to go back in the script, or you can go to the script right here next to the character and do that. To remove a script, you can go ahead, select that node and click this to remove that script. To add a new script, you could click this again, or you could just come back down to whatever script you'd like to add and click and drag it up to there. That's all a little bit advanced for right now, but uh, yeah, I think that will actually just about sum it up for this episode. In the next episode, we're gonna actually go into doing some stuff here, explaining to you what variables are and how you define them in Godot, as well as what this function is, the ready function, uh, and also what is a function. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one, and uh, yeah, have a great day.